Passion Travel is a channel specializing in all things travel street food and subscribe if you like poutine. A Canadian classic, poutine consists of French fries smothered in cheese curds and topped with rich gravy. Poutine is a beloved Canadian comfort food and one of the country's most iconic dishes. It originated in Quebec and has since become popular throughout Canada and even in some parts of the United States. Poutine consists of three main ingredients, French fries, cheese curds, and gravy. Here's how poutine is typically prepared. Ingredients. French fries. Thick-cut, crispy French fries serve as the base of the dish. They should be cooked until golden brown and crispy. Cheese curds. Cheese curds are small chunks of fresh cheese, usually white cheddar or a similar variety. They are essential for the classic poutine experience, and their squeaky texture when bitten into is a defining characteristic. Gravy. Poutine gravy is a savory, rich sauce made from beef or chicken stock, along with flour, butter, and seasonings. It should be hot and pourable. Instructions. Cook the French fries. Start by cooking the French fries until they are crispy and golden brown. You can deep fry them or bake them in the oven. Heat the gravy. While the fries are cooking, heat the gravy in a saucepan over medium heat. The gravy should be hot and ready to pour over the fries. Assemble the poutine. Place the hot, crispy French fries on a plate or in a serving container. Sprinkle a generous amount of cheese curds over the hot fries. The heat from the fries will partially melt the cheese curds, creating a delightful gooey texture. Pour the hot gravy over the fries and cheese curds. The heat from the gravy will further melt the cheese and create a delicious, savory mixture. Serve immediately. Poutine is best enjoyed immediately while it's hot and the cheese is still gooey. Butter tarts. A beloved Canadian dessert, butter tarts are sweet, gooey pastries with a rich, buttery filling. Butter tarts are a classic Canadian dessert, known for their sweet and gooey filling encased in a flaky pastry shell. They are a beloved treat that can be found throughout Canada, and they come in various forms and flavors. Here's how to make traditional Canadian butter tarts. Ingredients. For the pastry. 1 and a quarter cups all-purpose flour. 1 quarter teaspoon salt. 1 half cup unsalted butter, cold and cubed. 1 quarter cup ice water. For the filling. 1 half cup unsalted butter, melted. 1 cup brown sugar. 1 quarter cup corn syrup. 2 large eggs. 1 teaspoon vanilla extract. 1 half cup raisins or pecans, optional. Instructions. For the pastry. In a food processor, combine the flour and salt. Pulse to mix. Add the cold, cubed butter to the flour mixture and pulse until the mixture resembles coarse crumbs. With the food processor running, gradually add the ice water until the dough comes together. Be careful not to overmix. Turn the dough out onto a lightly floured surface and shape it into a disc. Wrap it in plastic wrap and refrigerate for at least 30 minutes. For the filling, in a mixing bowl, whisk together the melted butter, brown sugar, corn syrup, eggs, and vanilla extract until well combined. Preheat your oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit, 190 degrees Celsius. Roll out the chilled pastry dough on a floured surface and cut it into circles using a round cookie cutter or the rim of a glass. Line muffin tins with the pastry circles, pressing them gently into the bottoms. If desired, place raisins or pecans into each pastry shell. Fill each pastry shell with the butter sugar mixture, filling them about two-thirds full. Bake in the preheated oven for about 15 to 20 minutes or until the pastry is golden and the filling is set. The tarts should have a slight jiggle when gently shaken. Allow the butter tarts to cool in the muffin tins for a few minutes, then transfer them to a wire rack to cool completely. Once cooled, the butter tarts are ready to enjoy. Variations. While the classic butter tart is made with brown sugar and corn syrup, you can experiment with variations such as adding maple syrup for a Canadian twist, or using pecans, walnuts, or even chocolate chips in the filling. Butter tarts are a sweet and decadent Canadian dessert that's perfect for special occasions or as a treat any time of the year. They have a rich, gooey center and a flaky pastry crust, making them a favorite among Canadians and visitors alike. Tortier. A savory meat pie. Tortier is often made with minced pork or a mixture of meats and spices. Tortier is a traditional French Canadian meat pie that is popular in Quebec and other parts of Canada. It is often served during the holiday season, especially on Christmas and New Year's Eve. Tortier is known for its flavorful filling made from ground meat, typically a mixture of pork and sometimes other meats like veal, beef, or game. 
Here's how to make a classic tortillere. Ingredients. For the pastry. 2 and a half cups all-purpose flour. 1 half teaspoon salt. 1 cup unsalted butter, cold and cubed. 6 to 8 tablespoons ice water. For the filling. 1 pound ground pork. 1 half pound ground veal, or substitute with more pork. 1 small onion, finely chopped. 2 cloves garlic, minced. 1 half cup chicken or beef broth. 1 half teaspoon ground cinnamon. 1 quarter teaspoon ground cloves. 1 quarter teaspoon ground allspice. Salt and pepper to taste. Instructions. For the pastry. In a food processor, combine the flour and salt. Pulse to mix. Add the cold, cubed butter to the flour mixture and pulse until the mixture resembles coarse crumbs. With the food processor running, gradually add the ice water until the dough comes together. Be careful not to overmix. Turn the dough out onto a lightly floured surface and shape it into two discs. Wrap them in plastic wrap and refrigerate for at least 30 minutes. For the filling, in a large skillet or frying pan, cook the ground pork and veal over medium-high heat until they are browned and cooked through. Break up the meat into small pieces as it cooks. Drain any excess fat. Add the chopped onion and minced garlic to the cooked meat and sauté for a few minutes until the onion becomes translucent. Stir in the ground cinnamon, ground cloves, and ground allspice. Season with salt and pepper to taste. Pour in the chicken or beef broth and simmer the mixture for about 10 to 15 minutes, or until the liquid is mostly absorbed, and the filling is flavorful and moist. Remove it from the heat and let it cool slightly. Ketchup chips. A popular Canadian snack, ketchup-flavored potato chips offer a tangy and savory flavor. Ketchup chips are a popular snack in Canada known for their unique and savory sweet flavor reminiscent of ketchup, a condiment loved by many. These chips have a tangy and slightly tomatoey taste with a hint of vinegar and spice. They are a staple in Canadian snack aisles and are enjoyed by people of all ages. Here's a bit more about ketchup chips. Ingredients. Ketchup chips are typically made with the following key ingredients. Potato slices. Thinly sliced potatoes are used to create the crispy chip texture. Seasoning. The seasoning blend includes tomato powder, sugar, salt, vinegar powder, spices, and natural flavors to achieve the ketchup flavor profile. Production process. The production of ketchup chips involves the following steps. Potato slicing. Potatoes are cleaned, peeled, and sliced into thin rounds. Frying. The potato slices are deep fried until they become crispy and golden brown. Seasoning. While the chips are still warm from frying, they are seasoned with the ketchup-flavored seasoning blend. The seasoning adheres to the hot chips, giving them their distinct taste. Cooling and packaging. After seasoning, the chips are allowed to cool before being packaged for distribution. Variations. Ketchup chips are available in various brands and variations, and some may have slightly different flavor profiles or levels of spiciness. Some manufacturers also offer ridged or kettle-cooked versions of ketchup chips for added texture. Serving. Ketchup chips are typically enjoyed as a snack on their own. They're a common accompaniment to sandwiches, burgers, and other casual meals. Some creative Canadians even use them as a topping for hot dogs and other dishes to add a tangy crunch. Ketchup chips have become a nostalgic and beloved snack in Canada, and they are often associated with Canadian culture. While they may not be as widely available outside of Canada, they're a must-try for anyone visiting or curious about Canadian cuisine. Their distinctive ketchup flavor is sure to leave a memorable impression. Montreal Smoked Meat Sandwich. This iconic sandwich features thinly sliced smoked meat piled high on rye bread with mustard. The Montreal Smoked Meat Sandwich is a classic and iconic dish hailing from the city of Montreal, Quebec, Canada. It's a beloved sandwich that showcases the city's rich Jewish culinary heritage and has become a symbol of Montreal's food scene. Here's how to make a Montreal Smoked Meat Sandwich. Ingredients. Montreal-style smoked meat, typically beef brisket, rye bread or rye rolls, yellow or Dijon mustard. Instructions. Prep the meat. Montreal smoked meat is made from beef brisket that has been cured and smoked with a blend of spices, including black peppercorns and coriander. The meat is typically hand-sliced thin, which is a crucial part of the sandwich's texture and taste. You can purchase pre-sliced Montreal smoked meat from a reputable deli or smokehouse. Prepare the bread. Montreal smoked meat sandwiches are traditionally served on rye bread or rye rolls. The bread should be fresh and sliced or cut into sandwich-sized portions. 
You can lightly toast the bread if desired. Spread mustard. Generously spread yellow or Dijon mustard on one or both slices of bread, depending on your preference. Mustard is a key condiment that adds a tangy kick to the sandwich. Layer the smoked meat. Pile a generous amount of thinly sliced Montreal smoked meat onto one slice of bread. The meat should be tender, flavorful, and slightly fatty, with a beautiful pink hue from the smoking process. Assemble the sandwich. Place the other slice of bread on top of the smoked meat to form a sandwich. Press down gently to compact the layers. Serve. Montreal smoked meat sandwiches are often served whole, but you can cut them in half diagonally for easier eating. They are typically served with a side of pickles and coleslaw.